Hello and welcome to another episode of Everyday Black History. Today we're going to be highlighting and talking about a brother by the name of St. Elmo Brady. And St. Elmo Brady was the first African American to obtain a PhD degree in chemistry in the United States. He received his doctorate degree from the University of Illinois in 1916. Now, not much is known about um, St. Elmo Brady's uh, early life, but he was born December 22, 1884 in Louisville, Kentucky. He was influenced greatly by another brother by the name of Thomas W. Talley, who was a pioneer in the teaching of science, and we'll have another episode dedicated to him as well. But he greatly influenced St. Elmo Brady, and um, um, St. Um, Elmo Brady received his bachelor's degree from Fisk University in 1908 at the age of 24, and he immediately began teaching at the, at the Tuskegee Institute in Alabama. In 1912, he was offered a scholarship to the University of Illinois to engage in graduate studies, which he did. Uh, he published three scholarly abstracts in science, and from 1914 through 1915 on his work uh, with Professor Clarence Derrick. He also collaborated with another professor, George Beale, on a paper published in a journal of industrial and engineering chemistry titled The Hydrochloride Method of the Determination of Alkaloids. He also authored three monographs on household chemistry for girls. He completed his master's degree in chemistry in 1914 and carried out his PhD thesis work at the Noyes Laboratory under the direction of Clarence Derrick writing a dissertation in 1916 titled The Divalent Oxygen Atom. Many years later, he told his students that when he went to graduate school, he said they began with 20 whites and one other, him being the one other, and they ended in 1916 with six whites and one other. So he was able to persevere despite any of the hardships that he might have faced. Now, as mentioned, St. Elmo Brady was the first African American to receive a PhD in chemistry in the United States, which he received at the University of Illinois in 1916. And during his time, he also became the first African American admitted to the university's uh, Chemical Honor Society in 1914, as well as the first, as well as one of the first African Americans to be inducted into Sigma Psi, Sigma Psi, which is the Science Honorary Society, and that was in 1915. After completing his graduate studies, uh, St. Elmo Brady taught at many other HBCUs, helping to influence the lives and the minds of many other um, um, of big young black men and women. He uh, taught at Tuskegee University from 1916 to 1920. He also accepted a position at Howard University in um, 1920 after his time at Tuskegee University. In 1927, he moved to Fisk University to chair the school's chemistry department, and he, he remained at Fisk for 25 years until his retirement in 1952. After he retired from Fisk, he taught at Tougaloo College in Jackson, Mississippi. He also established a strong under, undergraduate curricula in the schools that he taught. Uh, strong undergraduate curricula, graduate programs, and fundraising developed for four fundraising development for four HBCUs and universities. In conjunction with faculty from the University of Illinois, he established a summer program in infrared spectrometry, uh, spectroscopy, excuse me, uh, which was open to faculty from all colleges and universities. He also um, had, he also was married with two sons and one of his sons also uh, worked as a physician as well. And he died Christmas Day in 1966 in Washington, D.C. But just based off of what we covered today about his accomplishments, we can see his contribution to black history and black culture. So St. Elmo Brady, we salute you and we thank you for your contribution. Now that concludes this episode of Everyday Black History. Of course, we'll be coming at you again with more episodes, so please stay tuned.